what's up amigos this is joe perez showing you an update of the grass we've been away in bahamas for a few days and look at that grass behind me it's really really nice and green uh last video that was a halloween edition we went ahead and threw down uh three quarter of a pound per thousand square feet as you can see behind me that's the result uh, on top of that we are a little too high so we're going to cut today we're going to be doing a double cut uh, because it's way way too high every time i come back from vacation i like to walk the lawn to ensure that everything is in order no surprises here just uh, nice and green and of course too high so we got to get busy with it time to cut it And Agustin grass needs to be cut anywhere between three and a half inches and four inches or higher if your machine permits it. Beep, beep, Backing up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, let's turn on the tubo. Beep, Backing up again. Beep, beep. Since the grass is so high, we're going to do our double cut. This means that we're going to cut in one direction first. And when we're done, we're going to come back in the opposite direction. This way, we're going to do like an X pattern. This will ensure that our clippings will be cut very fine. That grass is looking excellent. <laughs> Just like at the barbershop. Just a little trim. <laughs> Get the sprinkler ants. I always mulch and blow the clippings back into the grass. After all, this is natural fertilizer. I always blow away all the extra clippings. If you leave them there and you don't pick them up or you don't blow them off, what's going to happen is it's going to damage the grass underneath. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and also hit that bell so you'll be notified in future videos. Watch out for the Bahama clips at the end of the video. Hey, what's up, amigos? Aquí yo Pérez una vez más, trayéndoles un update de resultado de la grama. Acabamos de venir de las Bahamas, tuvimos un par de días y la grama está, wow, está bien bonita, bien verde. Antes de irme de vacaciones, le tiramos el mal organite, se ve muy bien, les voy a enseñar. Lo único que está sobrecrecida, así que hay que cortarla hoy. Pero vamos a ver cómo se ve a vuelta alrededor, la ustedes la pueden ver alrededor mío, está bien verdecita, Eso, exactamente como la queremos. Voy a cambiar la cámara aquí en un momento para que ustedes puedan ver el último video que le presenté, que se fue el de Halloween. Le habíamos tirado tres cuartos de libra por cada mil pies cuadrados. Ahí como están viendo, bien verdecita. Eso es lo que queremos. Que si cortan gramas que están enfermas pueden ser que vengan y traigan la enfermedad a la grama suya
siempre corte la grama entre 3 pulgadas y media a 4 pulgadas o hasta más alta, si puede. Meter el Turbo Joe. Debido a que la grama está bien alta, vamos a hacer un doble corte hoy. Esto significa que la vamos a cortar en una dirección primero y luego la vamos a cortar en otra dirección. De esta manera va a parecer que hicimos una X en la grama. Esto nos va a permitir acortar todo bien finito. Wow, mira cómo se ve esa grama. ¡Excelente! Como le decimos al barbero, no se olviden de ese cerquillo, es bien importante. <risa> La sombra, ay que negra es, eh, cortando ese cerquillo cerca de tu pie. No se olviden darle el mantenimiento a las regaderas. Yo no recojo el césped cortado en bolsa porque esto es un fertilizante natural. Así se lo riego otra vez a la grama. Vamos al mambo. Por último termine soplando la grama que se ve en exceso. Si no la sopla o la recoge le va a dañar la grama que está debajo. No se olviden de suscribirse, darle like y la campana. Hasta pronto amigos. What's up, amigo? This is Joe Perez, uh, straight from the Bahamas. A lot of people are asking these days, do they come to the Bahamas after the storm? Today, I've decided to come to the Bahamas, take a clip, let you guys know, and then show you, you my report. Let's go for a walk. As we always say, vamos al vamos. Unfortunately, there was copyrighted music in the background, so I had to mute the music. Here you see me walking around the market, bring cash. It's a lot safer, just like I told you in previous videos. It will be a lot safer than giving your car. Also, with cash, you can also bargain. Just look around, compare prices, and then take a mental note and come back to the places where you can bargain. Except for one store, everything else it was open. Everything nice and clean, Nassau is open for business. At this point, I am feeling hungry and I am so ready for that conch salad. Always get one when I go to the Bahamas. Our second stop was Freeport. This island was devastated by Hurricane Dorian. We 
got off the ship, there was only a few stores open, and of course there's a market. So we went around, probably a matter of 10 minutes, we were ready to get back on board. In the middle of the plaza, there was free Wi-Fi, so we just got down and cut up with emails, messages, and of course YouTube.